Springtime and jackets are like peanut butter and jelly, Batman and Robin, salt and pepper, socks and shoes. They just work. Hey everybody, Parker here, welcome back. If you are new, we are all about building your confidence through fashion and lifestyle choices that are not gonna break the bank. So if that sounds like something you're into, join the gang. I've got 10 different jackets for you guys today that are gonna have you looking great and feeling great all throughout the spring. You can also wear them into other seasons as well. You don't need to have all of them, obviously. The best thing to do is to figure out what's gonna work best for you based on where you live, your style preferences, what's gonna be most functional and give you the most opportunities to wear it. First off, real quick, why do I love a jacket so much? Well, because it is an easy one piece that is automatically going to make your outfit look a lot better. A simple look like jeans, t-shirt, sneakers or boots, throw on a jacket with it and wow, you just look more put together, you look more stylish, you're gonna be more functional. But first we have the suede jacket. This is a great one for your dressier outfits or if you just want your casual outfits to appear to be a little bit more dressy. The one I'm wearing is from Saxaw Fifth. I really like all the pockets. Now I'm not categorizing this as a specific type of suede jacket. You could do one like this, or you could do more of a bomber style like this. This one's from Super Dry. It is a lot lighter than a heavier moto style shiny leather jacket will be, so it works great during the springtime. By the way, if you by chance see this patch on my arm during the video, it is not the world's largest nicotine patch. I just got a tattoo. I'll show you guys soon, but I have to keep this on for a couple days. Just that's what it is. Up next, we have the chore jacket. This one comes from old school farming style, super classic. This one's Lee jeans. It's literally what they would wear for their chores. So it's functional. It's a little bit longer than like a denim jacket. It usually has a lot of nice pockets. This one is also blanket lined, which I really love. So it might be a little bit too warm for some springtime. And if that's the case, they make much lighter weight ones like this one from A Day's March. It's corduroy, but it's not lined. So it almost just feels like a button up shirt. Next, we have the shacket or the overshirt. Shacket just being shirt and jacket combined. These have become really popular in the last couple of years. And for good reason, they are extremely similar to the chore jacket except oftentimes they're gonna be cut just a little bit shorter. Or I also have this one from All Saints that is quite literally cut just like a normal shirt where it falls down a little bit further in the back. Oftentimes if you see one with snap enclosures like this, like Western style shirts or with contrast collars, those are easy details to be able to tell that it's technically intended to be a shacket, not just a shirt. Which just brings us to our next one, the fleece. This one is absolutely beautiful from Rowing Blazers. I freaking love this jacket. It's something simple. They do full zip, they do quarter zip, they do the button front. There's all sorts of different fleeces. The classic Patagonia has been in style forever. So getting something like this is a little bit warmer. It might be better towards the beginning of spring. Next up we have the Harrington jacket. This is one that was really popular in the 50s and 60s. People would wear it to golf, believe it or not, but it's kind of coming back around and for good reason. It is such a stylish jacket. It's always going to be identifiable with these button tabs on the collar, the closure like that. This one's from Ben Sherman. It's a really nice lightweight corduroy, but these come in nylon, in cotton, you can get them in a ton of different colors and fabrics. Next, we have the trench coat. This one is a little bit oversized. It's from Uniqlo. I absolutely love it. But this is a, an extremely timeless style of jacket. It's basically just a warm weather equivalent to an overcoat like you would wear in the wintertime. So you can layer it over a hoodie. You can just wear it with your casual outfits like I've been showing you. It can work as a little bit of a dressier option. Tons of different ways for you to be able to style a trench coat and it just gives you more coverage if you live somewhere where it rains a lot. It's a great piece to have in your wardrobe because it looks great, it's never gonna go out of style and you can wear it in tons of different ways. At number seven, of course, we had to talk about the denim trucker jacket. You guys have heard me talk about these before if you've been following me for a while. It's just one of those things 
that I think everybody needs to have in their closet. They can be a little bit intimidating because you don't know how to combine them into your outfits, but I'm telling you, just picking one up that's a little bit fitted, this one's from Dockers. I absolutely love that they have a slightly cropped fit. If you wanna wear it with denim, doing it similarly to how I am now with the dark pants and the lighter jacket, it's always gonna work. Up next, if you're into vintage fashion, we have military jackets, like this Swedish infantry jacket. It is so comfortable. It's got these really cool pockets on the back. It's really interesting. But if you're into older stuff that is still really stylish and really comfortable, going to the army surplus store or your local thrift store and searching out vintage military stuff that's not necessarily like camouflage, it's a really great way to get something that's already well worn in. It's sustainable, you're not buying new clothes. It's just a really great way to look good and feel good about what you're wearing. Number nine, we've got the windbreaker. Now obviously this clown primary color one from Rowing Blazers probably isn't for everyone, I love it, but a windbreaker is an excellent option for those days when it's raining outside or you're just really trying to be casual, but you still wanna look good in what you're wearing, because you could wear this with some sweatpants and sneakers or with a hoodie and again, stay dry, but look really cool. So like a vintage Nike one or getting something in black from like Lululemon or places like that, it's a great way to look good and stay dry. And finally, last but not least, is actually not a jacket at all, but a vest. You would be so surprised how warm this little down vest from Uniqlo keeps me when the temperature's kind of in that in-between phase or if it's a little bit windy. You can also wear it over like a long sleeve tee or over a button up shirt or a, a rugby polo, different ways. You can wear this as a mid-layer under one of the other jackets. Wow. You have so many good spring jacket options now. Having a couple of these from the selections that I've shown you is a really smart way to ensure that you're gonna be ready for anything really dressy all the way down to your most casual days and still be looking good so you can feel good every single time you leave the house and that's how your confidence is gonna to start to go way up. Told you where all of these are from. I also put some links down in the description to either the exact same thing I'm wearing or at least something similar so you can shop it for yourself. But also, whenever you're curious, just Google it, guys. Be like, where do I get a denim jacket? Who makes the best denim jackets? Affordable denim jackets. Think smart on how you can find options that are gonna work for your budget. If you have any other questions, you can drop them down in the comments. You can DM me on Instagram. Be sure you go follow me there as well as on TikTok for tons of other style tips. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Tell a friend about the channel and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.